Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one's gonna be on how to paste end skins yourself. So, I mean, it's pretty easy. So, like, all you gotta do, you got oh well, first you gotta download Visual Studio, right? Click here, free download. Then once you download Visual Studio, you go to Visual Studio installer right see this click yes okay now wait after you've installed visual studio you're gonna go here to the installer and click modify and you see all these right here you need all of these let me show you where I learned this frog on a stick bug fixes you need all of these plus more I mean I would just download everything I have here and if you get uh, this bug it's hard to see you can't read that but if okay here if it's if you get this bug right here then download direct SDK June 2010 okay well anyway once you've downloaded that also, by the way, when you uh, download these, okay, when you download these right here, it's in individual components. You can search them one by one from that thing, I, from that picture. I'll even have the picture in the description. Just to make it easier for you guys, I don't want to have it be confusing at all. You're going to want to type end skins in Google. You're going to want to go to this GitHub right here. You're going to want to download it. When you download this, there is an important step. Okay? See this depths? For some reason, these don't download properly. Like, I'll show you. So, whoops. Uh, so, anyway, I already have this. I guess I'll just do this. Okay. So, depths. You see, there's nothing here. And I'm G I am GUI. And in JSON, there's nothing there. So, what you need to do, you need to download this. And then you need to go back. You need to download this. Do this before you ever even open this in Visual Studios. Cause, I mean, Studio. Because if you open this in Visual Studio and you don't have those, it's going to give you a bunch of errors. And even if you close it and then add these, the errors won't go away. I don't know why that is. but Okay, so don't just put this folder right here. This folder, don't just put it into I'm GUI. You got to copy all these. Fuck. You got to copy all of this shit into here okay then you need to go to JSON then you need to open this you need to do the same exact thing open this oh my god I'm fucking retarded okay anyway okay so now that you've done that when you open this you shouldn't get a bunch of errors hopefully Another thing, you go to Project, Properties, see this, Windows SDK version, change it to this version. If you don't have it, download this. See what I'm saying? Okay. Now, you'll know if this worked or not, because when you go here, if you go to GUI.CPP and you have a bunch of errors, it didn't work. You need to fucking restart. So if you have that problem, just fucking literally restart. Delete everything, restart. Okay. Just to make sure everything's working, first thing you should do is build the solution. Just to make sure. Also change that to release. Obviously. Okay, so the build succeeded. Which means, I mean... 
right here this would work okay but it is the same exact thing as a uh, sorry it's um basically like you'll get banned if you use that okay so you need to add junk code and stuff it's pretty easy to do uh, I would just I don't know where is the best place to add junk code but I mean I noticed in some places it works it changes the file size in some places it doesn't so like I would just start with like here's an example junk.cpp add then you want to go to this website junk code just type junk code generator in Google and you'll find this website control a well first refresh it control a control C paste okay and then just do this literally over and over and over and over the reason why this is especially important in end skins is because if you don't do this with end skins you will get banned you, it's it's detected by back like it's sick so this is changing the signature so you need a fuck ton or else it won't do anything okay I'm not gonna go through and add a fuck ton but you need to add a fuck ton and then if you want to change things like the name you go to GUI and you see like right here end skins you could change that to whatever you want this is the window size I'm pretty sure uh so yeah that's like pretty much all you need to fucking do oh wait I forgot something okay uh oh yeah okay so when you go here right here optimization you need to turn optimization off okay or else all your junk code is going to be gone it will just when you build it it'll just remove all the junk code that does nothing so it's important that you turn that off and a smart thing to do would be to keep the original end skins DLL. Oh, whoops. This is... Keep the original DLL from when you first built it without junk code so you can see the difference in size. Somehow this is already. Wait, hold on. So just keep doing this, okay? Also, another thing I noticed, I don't know if it makes a difference, but when I built this in debug mode, its file size is a lot bigger. I don't know if that would help, but I mean, it might. So you might want to consider doing that, but I don't know. And you're going to need an injector to inject this into your game, and it's going to need to be undetected or else it won't matter what you do here. So I'm going to do a video on how to make an undetected injector too. Very simple. It's probably more simple than this and this is very simple. But let me just show you that this works. So I'm going to open the game. I'm using VAC in secure mode because I just told you uh, you need to add junk code and I added like fucking barely any so it's probably still detected. So let me just get into a game. taking a while see in back in secure mode you can do that to not get banned with detected cheats but you won't be able to play back secured servers like deathmatch comp and all that Okay, now that my game's open, I'll take this uh, DLL, copy it. This is where my uh, injector is. So I already have this. I'm going to delete this for now. And then my injector requires the DLL to be named to certain things. So I'm going to name it to that thing. Then I'm going to double click my injector. And now I'm injected. Okay. And I'll show you like this works. I mean, obviously it works. Well, I'm not going to use a classic knife because there's a glitch with the classic knife. It's the only knife there's a glitch with. 
So keep that in mind. There you go. Wow. So that's pretty much it for this. I'll be making some more videos about this type of stuff in the future. So, uh, yeah. Nice.